Okay, time to fix stuff. I don't have a good camera or a, a pretty bench, but the point is it's to get stuff working. All right, this is uh, this is an amplifier. My cousin gave it to me to have a look at it. So basically it's plugged into the main power supply and it's just blinking red. It's, it's something going on. I have no idea, but uh, eventually I figured it out, but I thought I would share this with you guys. Now, basically these amplifiers are really, really complicated and it's a really well built amplifier, to be honest. You know, everything is just, just built like a tank, but I don't know what, something went wrong, obviously. But these are controlled by microcontrollers, which mean they've got a computer chip that detects voltages, current, blah, blah, blah. And if it doesn't like something, it's just going to trip because it's something wrong. Now, the first obvious start sign is basically check your output speakers. If they are shorted for some reason, it's obviously going to trip. So make sure these relays are all open or it's doing what it's supposed to do. You know, check that and then straight to the power transistors. You know, obviously, um, check these beefy ones. They're the power transistors, obviously. It's it's hard to get to, but I managed to check all of them. Uh, the base collector emitter, obviously, make sure there's no dead short. And from what it looks, they're not damaged. So I know for a fact that they looked okay. So the next thing is check out the power supply. Now, this is the main power supply. Obviously, it runs off a dual voltage, plus and minus. The main plus and minus obviously goes to the main board, but also there's an operational amplifier that needs a plus and minus volt, right? Now, it's very, very hard for me to get my camera in, but it's just connected with pins and stuff. But if you look at, there is some voltage written like plus five, plus 12. Like I really can't get my camera in. So if I'm, if I'm looking from the top, that's, that's the board right there. So plus five, plus 12, minus 12, and then ground. Right now, check this out. The first one was okay. Now, the second voltage, see what I get. Okay, it's not the it's on. I'm getting 12, which is not good. So, obviously, the, the, the plus voltage, I don't know which way it is, but you got the plus and the negative rail, right? See, it tripped straight away. 12 is no good. So, what I've decided was to run an external 15 volt straight into that to see if that's what's causing the problem right now it's uh just running off a 12 volt through a boost converter down to regulate it to 15 volt i actually can check how much power this is using as well so i'm running 15 now as you can see clearly it's 15 now i'm just going to reset the board okay it starts and as you can see, it hasn't tripped. That's a good sign. Okay, well, that's a good sign. Now I'm running an analog signal through my tablet here. Now, let's go and see. I think it's... Uh... Yeah, that's the one. Sorry, I can't play the music for too long because obviously... And it works, okay? It works. Trust me. So what I'm going to do is obviously I'm going to build build a separate power supply I'm probably obviously trying to fix it but if I can't fix it I want to have to you know go with one of these constant current constant voltage supply and somehow manage to put it in there now this is using about five watts of power I cranked it up to the max so make sure that you know whatever the the, the, the power supply we're going to build is capable of at least handling 15 watts. Again, this is going to the preamp. It shouldn't use too much power, but just to be safe, we put a power factor of three times in. I haven't built the circuit yet, but uh, I know what's going on. As you can see, I'm just going to, you know, turn it off. The external supply and you can see the amplifier clip, the trip straight away. Off. gone so we obviously found the problem and luckily i was able to tr troubleshoot this one but if you guys have similar issues uh don't be afraid obviously if you don't touch around when this is plugged in because some of these um you know heat sinks could be high voltage it's nasty stuff going on so please don't do it 
but uh, if you're confident doing stuff obviously you can start troubleshooting from the power supply then start isolating the board you know you can remove certain part of the board just to figure out which input is causing the problem if obviously that's not the case you can slowly work work your way up and uh, for, for, the, for the time being i'm gonna repurpose this guy and give him a brand new home okay if you guys like this video again pardon me i don't have a clean bench how it do works up all the time give me a thumbs up and subscribe for my channel thank you